Hey cream puffs, what's up? It's Gracie, welcome back to my channel. If you have never been to my channel before, welcome and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss any of the videos I post throughout a week. Okay, so I am very, very excited for this video and it kind of just randomly came to me, pretty much just inspired by its release, but I'm sure many of you, if not all of you watching this video, know who Olivia Rodrigo is. I mean, you'd probably be living under a rock if you didn't know, and I've actually made um, a parody, I guess you could call it a music video to her driver's license video a few months ago. I think it was months, was it months? I think it was months. Yeah, it was actually four months ago, but it seems like it was like a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen it, it'll be in the eye up above on the right top corner of this video. But anyway, recently, as in of a few days ago, Olivia Rodrigo released her debut album, Sour. So I was very, very excited for this because I personally have been um, standing Olivia Rodrigo since 2015 with Grace Stirs Up Success. Literally, that was my thing. I loved that movie with my whole heart. Me and, I don't know if you guys know, but me and my friend It's Froggy, like, we loved that movie. It's Froggy had, like, the doll and everything, and I had her accessories because it's, like, a whole, like, pack doll thing. Anyway, so Olivia actually played Grace. I guess you could say in the movie and since then I've just loved her and then when she played in high school musical the musical the series I was like no way that's the girl from grace she had been writing music but her driver's license dropped she really just completely blew up from there which is so exciting in commemoration I guess you could say of her dropping sour a few days ago I am going to be recreating the iconic sour album cover so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can do it and it literally is not that hard you need a few simple accessories thankfully it's not like this huge decked out cover and I'm gonna be showing you guys the textures the accessories hair color styles everything I use in order to create this look and if you want to alter it or add anything to it that would be so cool too but let's get right into the video on how you can recreate Olivia Rodrigo iconic outfit from the sour album cover all right guys we are live <laughs> live not live like we're gonna be doing this without a voiceover we're gonna do it as i talk so if you hear clicking that's just my keyboard basically there were a lot of options for hair i'm gonna be popping up the photo of this album quite a bit if not just keeping it there so that you can see but she basically has one part of her hair kind of forward and the other part behind her and there were no hairs i could find with this easily that weren't like super duper old so i wanted to stick with some of the newer hairs and here were some of the ideas i came up with so for this i actually used for the official cover that you will see, I used the Boss Babe look, but then when I was editing it, which I will give a tutorial for at the end of this video, I cut out this bun so that it didn't look like she had the bun in her hair. You could also use the Party for One, the Lovely Rose, and you know, I'm just going to switch my hair color so you guys can see everything a little more easily. Now, for in front of a green screen, I used surprisingly i actually went to the black colors and did the lunar locks so yes it is a lot darker but if you go in the sun over here you can see it's like kind of like a reddish like a black and i know it looks kind of red in front of the green screen with the lighting it evened out so bear with me her hair is like very dark and i'm pretty sure it's brown yeah i'm pretty sure it's brown with like highlights or whatever so i'm just doing the darkest brown i can find which happened to just be the lunar locks because it almost looks brown you know you won't need heels for this look, but if you want to walk around in Royal High without just taking a picture of this, then you will. So for the skirt, it is a straight skirt, and unfortunately they don't have any very straight skirts besides this one, but the kimono skirt does curve up at the top, which was not helpful. So I decided to go with the pleated skirt, and I'm now going to be showing you the texture I put it in. So if we go to the designs and palette, I went to the blue, and yes, you will need the game pass for this, otherwise you can just make it like a blue or just anything you like. So there are a lot of plaid designs I was debating between this bun but ultimately I decided to go with this one by Juno Seto and I also just made the bottom that also make sure that your body type is the royale body type because it's slightly thinner and it just fits the skirt a little better so finding a corset was actually very awkward and I think it looked more awkward to not have a corset 
because most of the skirts are designed to like have that corset. Now that I'm thinking of it, I went with this color. I kind of just came up with using the color palette. It's kind of over here as you can see, but yeah. So now that we have the shirt done, even though she has straps on her shirt because it is not just a corset, I just ignore that because I mean it is Royal High, it doesn't need to be completely accurate. Thank goodness Royal High came out with some chains and cute accessories like this after the update. For the chains, I'm going to be using three. I'm going to be using both of the friendship necklaces. The reasoning for this is she has like some sort of locket on her neck, which is the closest thing I could find to some type of chunky-ish jewelry. Then I used the stars and moon pendant and made it the same color so it just looks like a combination of necklaces. For the face, okay so there was a lot, I mean the face is like the main part of this album, it draws attention to the face and unfortunately I was not able to find a cute enough without looking angry or weird uh, face where their tongue was sticking out. There were a lot of sticking out tongues but personally I just felt like none of them really fit the way that I wanted them to. None of them really fit the way I wanted them to because this one kind of looked too bored and in Olivia's she looks kind of more upset, her eyes are a bit more back. This might be a good alternative but that doesn't explain the no stickers and the stickers are kind of the whole theme of this album in some way. Of course we use the Megalo or Mugalo faces. The very popular and I decided to go with the grumpy one. I know it has a band-aid but you could take it as a sticker. It has lots of stickers and it is a bit upset which is kind of the look that Olivia is almost looking like. I was very close to buying the 80s aesthetic stickers um, from the catalog that are 55 Robux but I was like you know what let's just keep this in royal high you know just a bit easier. All right so what I didn't add the first time round of doing this because this is my second time trying to recreate the outfit, I didn't add a ring. And she actually does have many rings on her hands and unfortunately there was only about like two rings in Royal High and one of them is like very very rare so I don't expect many of you to have it. I don't even have it. It is like the Call Me Bob ring um, but I'm going to be using the exquisite emerald ring which is from the St. Patrick's Day update. So it is like a purple, I believe, on her hand. At least one of them is purple, one of them's yellow. The rest are kind of like silverish, as I can tell. Okay, so I myself just quickly threw on, I don't even know, like the these little boots. Um, they don't really match, but that doesn't matter because all you're supposed to see in the album cover anyway is about this much of her. Let's not forget the iconic arm cross pose. All you have to go is go right into animations and it is very close by. So there you have it guys. This is the finished look. If you just want to use it in Royal High using some of the chains, emerald ring, the pleated skirt, the Mer Miss Lady Rose corset because it's the most simple. And like I said, whatever hair you think works best along with kind of a darker blackish red hair color, but it comes off as brown. And this is the closest I could get for face. If you guys have any preferences for face, you can obviously change that. Originally, I was actually going to, in this same video, have a whole tutorial on how you can make the album cover just like the one you see in this thumbnail. But I'm going to save that for another video just because this video is already about eight minutes long and it doesn't need to be any longer. So stick around if you'd like to figure out how to actually make your own album cover all by yourself. I'll be giving a complete tutorial and even screen recording parts of it on my phone. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe with the post notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos, as well as hit that like button if you enjoyed becoming an album cover. <laughs> See you guys next time I post. Bye.